Today, we have a special guest joining the channel. He's a professional athlete in the NFL for the Atlanta Falcons. Other than football and crypto, he also invests in stocks and real estate. He also has his own charity and esports gaming team. He will be giving us an inside look at exactly what the post of crypto is like within the professional athlete community. We will also talk about his favorite altcoin projects and where we both see crypto going within the next 10 years. You guys don't want to miss this one. Let's jump right in. What is going on, guys? I am here with my boy here, Eli Anku. What's going on, man? How you feeling? Feeling good, man. I actually just got done with uh, my work day. You know, we just had practice and all that. So, yeah. it, you know, for the people watching, don't know who I am. Uh, my name's Edion Koo. I'm a defensive tackle with the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, this is my fifth year in the NFL. I just came in from the Cowboys. I The Cowboys. I mean, oh, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> how, how is that, man? I, I always hear so much drama over there with the, in Dallas. You know, the, the Cowboys was fun, man. Honestly, the, the, the facility is awesome. The people are great, coaches, all that. And obviously, I, I got to play with, you know, people from my hometown over in Canada. So awesome. it, it was it was a fun experience, man. So I, I can't complain. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Awesome, dude. And and yeah, you're now you're with the Falcons, right? Yes. So I am with the Falcons. I signed with them um, just recently. Uh, we're now in the process of doing our OTAs. If anyone's not really familiar with that, it's kind of like uh, organized team activities. It's like an optional thing, um, right. but everyone kind of comes together, you know, meshes together, learns the playbook, um, right. do exercises and meetings and all that. So it's been good, man. So for for the moment, I'm living out in the hotel, as you can see, mm -hmm. um, just hanging out. But yeah. uh, it's been it's been great so far. It's it's a blessing. That's awesome, man. I'm I'm a huge NFL fan, man. Football is my favorite sport out of any. I played baseball mostly growing up, but I also played some football. You know, I completely understand, man. So it it, it does take quite a bit physically. You know, I'll definitely take a beating after every game. I will say this every time it feels like you just got in a car crash. Yeah, like it's, that's it's what absolutely I've, nuts yeah, on the body. That's, so. that's what I've heard, man. And I can only imagine, man, because I played with, you know, 15, 16, 17 year olds. So I can only imagine playing with grown Different. men, yeah. like running into each other as hard as you can, like just putting your body on the line. Like it's crazy, yep. man. It's 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 literally like this is is like the new generation of gladiators, basically. You know, like yeah, it's it's nuts, man. Um, yeah. we, you know, we really push ourselves physically, not only you know as far as conditioning and, and strength, you know, yeah. strength work, but you know, it's it's a lot mentally. Yeah. Uh, you know, people will see everything that happens on TV and right. you know, social media, but you know, it, it's a lot that goes into it. You know, behind closed doors, right? Um, put a lot of hours in. Right. You know, as far as getting yourself better game IQ and, you know, physically preparing yourself for pretty much what is a, a car crash. I right. Mean, you know, every game is going to be like that. And right. You just have to prepare yourself for it. So let's jump into some crypto, man. How yeah. how did you get into crypto? When did you get into crypto? And, you know, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So funny story. I, I actually learned about crypto. I heard about crypto back in the early days i heard about it it wasn't you know it wasn't a secret or anything you right know, people heard about it um to me at the time it was a, a passing fad and you know that mentality kind of kept persisting as time went oh in what 2016 or 17 it climbed mm -hmm. or, or yeah in 2016 um i saw it climb i was like wow good for them i have no money yeah um <laughs> so mm -hmm. you know uh, time went one of my friends tried to get me into ethereum i remember that and I was like, ah, I don't really understand it. You know, I don't want to put my money into that. If You know, and, and I'm a rookie at the time. Right. So, you know, me being a rookie, wanting to be smart with my money. Of course. You know, I'm trying to just hold it and just, you know, not yeah. put it anywhere than just keep it in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, come to find out, you know, me and my friend were talking about it just recently. And she was saying, like, hey, like, I remember trying to get you into this, you know, and it was really low. And I was like, I know I should, I should have done it. But eventually i came around to it hmm. um one of my buddies uh eddie vanderdose used to be my college roommate you know he he was like hey man like i, I we can we can get you you know all all you know settled down with with uh understanding what cryptocurrencies are right um and that was just what early this year 
um, he uh, he got me into it, man. And uh, you know, I thank him for that. And a few other guys uh, in the league, you mm -hmm. know, got me interested in it. You know, and it was something like you know the, the cycle was moving. It was like twenty thousand, and boom, thirty five thousand. Yeah. Um, I definitely have a lot of people to to thank for getting me into that space. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't until exactly earlier this year that I, I truly decided to commit to understanding, you know, what crypto is, right. what Bitcoin is. Because obviously when you hear about crypto, Bitcoin's the first one that's going to come to mind. Of so course. For me, that was like the first big one and then kind of move, in, move on from there. Right. Yeah. So are you also in, invested like in other altcoins? What, 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 uh, oh, what's man. your favorite altcoin right now? So I'm just going to go out and say this, right? Mm -hmm. You know, obviously Bitcoin was my first one. Mm -hmm. It's the right. one that I hold the most of. It's, it's to me the, the most solid one. It drives the market. Right. You know, it, it's pretty much the school bus driver and the right. rest of them are it's, part of the bus. Exactly. It's, a, it's the foundation, basically. Exactly. It wasn't until I started researching, you know, different protocols and different you know, coins that I really started understanding that they all serve a different purpose. Mm -hmm. um, so you look at Ethereum <clears throat> being different than Bitcoin. Initially, I thought they were competing to be the same thing. And I was like, wow, just pick one. Then I started understanding that they serve different purposes. Mm -hmm. I got into, you know, Oracle projects such as Chainlink, um, nice. Uniswap at one point. Um, I got into one of my favorite ones, uh, Cardano. Mm -hmm. Did you get Honestly, into that early? You know, Cardano was a little bit late. I got in at about a dollar, but you okay. know, you figure it late, okay. like it's all relative at right, this point. Right, right. Um, but talking about Cardano, man, I, I think for me, my understanding of crypto went from, you know, the basic need of wanting to make money. Because right. let's be real. Of course. A lot of us get into it because we want to make money. Of off course. Of me being a pro athlete, you know, I want to be able to make my money that I make right. last. And right. I want to be able to, to make passive income. Of course. However... You know, you look at projects like Dono and any of the, the sister projects that they have going on, dude, it is so impressive to me. Um, you know, you look at, again, Cardano, mm -hmm. the Africa project, the smart contracts coming up. It, it's it's baffling. Like, you're thinking about something that's literally going to change the world, right. financially speaking, and also in terms of infrastructure, right? Right. Um, Charles Hoskinson starting projects in Ethiopia. Um, the education system running on Cardano, the Cardano blockchain. Right. Yep. Medical system, or medical uh, infrastructure, all that stems from, you know, innovation within the blockchain technology space. Or right. Whoever's developing developing those technologies. My my absolute favorite one uh, that I got into just recently was Ergo. And okay. I, I don't know if you're familiar with. You know what? I saw you. I haven't been involved, like I haven't got into it or anything like that. I haven't looked too much into it, but I did see you uh, post about it. So that's that's actually how I know about it because I saw you post about oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, shoot, man, um, dude, I'm I'm so impressed by these things. Um, Ergo, mm -hmm. it is a protocol, a blockchain that's completely compatible with Cardano. Okay. Um, they have it's basically the Swiss Army knife, uh, knife of Cardano. They do pretty much everything and. You think about blockchain technology and how far it's come. You know, you look at Bitcoin being the super secure, robust, safe. Right. Um, then you look at Ethereum being the one who can handle transactions, obviously at a cost. And, you know, that's a whole nother topic. Right. But then you look at these late generation <clears throat> crypto and their, their blockchain technology. It's absolutely impressive. Um, Charles Hoskinson was talking about, you know, he sees this thing being a top 15 project right simply for the fact that it can do pretty much everything right um you know they have uh they have their own blockchain it's a proof of work system which reinforces the security of the cardano system which it runs off of um they have oracle pools literally chain link mm -hmm. um they have uh they have their own stable coin they have a decentralized exchange mm -hmm. they have all these things that are thrown into this this project and they're doing it so efficiently right we're talking about keeping things environmentally friendly and this and that and i think that's where we're going to see a shift right that's where we're going to see coins kind of make their own and i think yeah. honestly that to me and again everyone has differing opinions right. but as far as i could research and get my best understanding of i think it's going to be a really good project going forward Awesome. So Ergo, yeah. Ergo is is your big play there. Huge, huge 
uh, bullish sentiment on Ergo, man. They're they're awesome. I love them. Like, I'm sure you've talked about this on your channel recently. I know I saw it on on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, El Salvador was it? Yes. Yep. Bitcoin, Crazy. Like a legal tender. That's that's one small step for so many different countries to follow suit. Exactly. And, and like, <laughs> dude, like that that's that's a lot. Yeah, I'm already I'm already hearing that uh, there's other countries also in South America that are interested in possibly doing the same thing. I even read today uh, that Mexico is possibly interested in doing that. And I know I already know that uh, the richest man in Mexico, I forgot his name, but he's yep. like a billionaire. Um, mm -hmm. He says that he's invested, you know, a huge like not I don't know a huge, but like a really big percentage of his uh portfolio into yeah. bitcoin you know so i think that's the first domino to fall and others are are slowly gonna start creeping in you know mass adoption absolutely mm -hmm. i i completely agree with you man um i think as time goes and, and more countries and you know government you know governments get into mm -hmm. uh understanding what this is you know they're gonna be less afraid of it right and move more towards adopting it and i'm really happy to see you know, a country adopting it. Um, it, it's a small step. Yeah. And that's what I like to see. Um, mm -hmm. Not necessarily just the market and this and that. It, right. You know, we can talk about numbers, but at the end of the day, when we're talking about social um, adoption of this, mm -hmm. to me, that's huge. Yeah. My next question, I know a lot of people are wondering this. What What's the conversation sounding like nowadays in, in locker rooms and around the league? I know there's been a yep. lot of news of uh like i i think i saw uh trevor lawrence was getting his bonus in crypto or something like that or his pay out was it him. was it his full pay <laughs> i don't know him. if it was his full pay or his bonus or something then uh i know what's his name o russell Oaken. yeah Oaken. he he's yeah. he has his thing in crypto and yes Koken has his in crypto yes here is my take on all of that um there is a definitely a uh, a, a, a dialogue within mm -hmm. the NFL amongst players to be smart with your money, uh, right. to invest, to to let your money work for you. Right. And I think people have been and athletes have been becoming more uh, conscious of that. They're becoming more aware of that. You know, so you see a lot of guys putting their money into you know investments such as you know maybe the housing market. Mm -hmm. uh, they could put it into the stock market. You know, which I I, I am into that as well. And also you know. I'm buying property uh, i'm moving along with that awesome but there comes a time where you know you make extra money it's not a secret a lot of football players make a decent amount of money right um i think a lot of guys want to be able to again let their money work for them and they see cryptocurrency as a, a, a perfect opportunity for it i mean you're looking at a generational type of technology mm. that you know you put your money into it you're going to get returns you might also lose and you know that's a whole right. other, again another conversation but that's as far as the mentality goes so i guess the more i talk to guys the more familiarized they are with crypto um i just to just today um had a full-on conversation um right before practice with one of my teammates about crypto and you know it's it's becoming more of a point of emphasis a point of passion for for these guys to talk about because again, the technology is groundbreaking. I mean, yeah. there's no other way to explain it. Um, so crypto 100% uh, is being adopted by players in the NFL. Um, you know, the conversation always starts with Bitcoin typically, and then you mm -hmm. move into other projects as as your understanding of what it is right. progresses. I tell people like, this is another case of like a blockbuster. This is you have to either adapt or yeah. you're gonna go away like you know like yeah. and the, the, the longer you wait to adapt to it then um the further behind you're gonna fall so and yep. that and that's with you know uh with governments countries and the same with people you know there's a lot of people yep. that still don't believe and don't think it's anything they still think it's uh you know a tulip mania or um something that's just here for a short time you know or a craze or whatever but like this is this is not a meme, uh, a meme no. uh, coin or a meme token or meme uh, stock. Yeah. This is this has been around over ten years, over a decade yeah. already. You know, yep. so and and I believe it's it's here to stay at this point. You know, it's not going anywhere. Agreed. Um, 
I, I think that again, the the view on crypto in the NFL, I think, mirrors the view on crypto around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, um, crypto is still in its infancy, man. Yeah, it's still early. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, as far as blockchain technology, <clears throat> we're gonna have a shift where we start adopting it more and more. And as time goes, you know, it's only been ten years yeah. and far less for a lot of these altcoin projects. Yeah. As time goes, we're, we're going to be adopting these the same way that we adopted, you know, the internet and how it became integral to uh, the functioning of society. Yeah, for sure. And you know what the crazy thing is that you, now that you brought up the internet, that back then when the internet first came out, that same argument about electricity, it yeah. was that they, they, they made that same argument as an argument against the internet. So and, and now now we're seeing the same argument again now with Bitcoin. So it's crazy. And so um, so, yeah, so I mean, I think we've pretty much touched on most of the stuff I wanted to ask you. Uh, you know, do you have anything else that you want to tell us? Well, if there's anything I could really say, man, is, um, you know, this whole cryptocurrency, I guess, adventure mm -hmm. is, is pretty much what it's been for me because it started as more of a you know, let me educate myself thing. But you know, it's come to a point where I've become confident enough mm. to, to take a lot of my holdings from last year's earnings, right, you know, and put it into these projects, right? I, I have a lot of faith in the future of cryptocurrency. And obviously, the numbers are going to go up and down and yeah. do all this crazy stuff, man. But at the end of the day, you know, I think my goal is to look back 10 years from now and say, I was a part of history i was a part of something big right you know um so i think that's what keeps me at ease when it comes to investing my money into this you know i've i've invested into so many different things and you know as far as as investments goes man um this has definitely been the most interesting for me yeah um so yeah pretty much all just to say man it's it's whatever happens with the cryptocurrency space and all the ups and downs um I'm extremely confident with the future of crypto, um, especially the projects that do have a solid base to, to build up on. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, man, for, for joining me to, to create this video, to, uh, you know, to ask you questions, because I know I know a lot of people are, are always wondering about things like this. And uh, and I appreciate you coming on here on the channel. And, uh, and, you know, having a chat with us and uh, talking about all these different subjects, man, it's just so interesting. And, and, and I love Absolutely, to see man. the adoption. Anytime. Yeah, man. Anytime so I appreciate it, man. Uh, and we'll be in touch, man. We'll, we'll definitely, we'll, we're probably going to have to have you come back on here. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, man. So that, that's pretty much it, man. Thank you so much. You know, if if I could pick you on fantasy, I would pick you on fantasy <laughs> football. <laughs> just for Hell just yeah, for man. just for being on here. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, uh, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hey, no problem at all, Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video with Ili Anku. It was amazing getting to to talk with him and get the the inside scoop on exactly what a professional athletes feel like uh towards crypto and how they've been adopting it as well to you know to create more income and to make their money make work for them and make more money and make some passive income so it was amazing thank you again Ely, and thank you guys for watching guys don't forget to smash that like button if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell where we're going to continue having more features like this uh, where we have special guests on the channel. We're going to be doing uh, market analysis, uh, news updates, and all sorts of tutorials and reviews as well. Thank you guys so much. I will see you on the next video. As always, peace and love.